Hello YouTube, this is the man who's never wrong here. Now I was I would have made this video yesterday, but these events happen very late at night and I wasn't able to do so. But as it's been all over the news, the Boston bombers struck again. They not only did they bomb the Boston Marathon, but there was a shootout at MIT. They stole a car and there was also another big shootout with explosives and many rounds fired in Watertown, Massachusetts, which is, again, along with MIT, is just outside of Boston. Um, it wasn't until this morning that the two, the two shooters were identified as the Boston Bombers. They were, they are two Russian brothers. One of them, the older one, is dead. Um, he was killed last night during the shootout in Watertown. I'll tell you the names right now. Uh, suspect number two is the one that is still alive. He was the one in the pictures of the Boston Bombers with a white baseball cap. Oh boy, I don't know if I can pronounce this. Zokar Zarnave, D-Z-H-O-K-H-A-R, first name, T-S-A-R-N-A-E-V, last name. The one that was killed was suspect number one. Tum I'm sorry, I don't know if I can pronounce this one either. Tamerlan Zarnave. T A M E R L A N T S A R A T S A R N A E V. The second one is the one that was killed. He was the older brother. So they were both uh, from the Chechnya region of Russia. And I don't, I can't tell you why they would do this. I don't know of any issues that the U.S. has had with Chechnya. I'm sure something will come out. I really don't understand it. it. doesn't make any sense to me. But, and I'm not that far from Watertown. I'm probably about 45, 50 minutes. So, I mean, do I feel particularly safe? Well, to a degree, because I have the ability to defend myself. But, I would rather not have to. It's, I don't know. I never imagined it would have happened, this would have happened. I'm just glad that there weren't too many people killed. There was an MIT police officer who was gunned down in the shootout at the school. But, I'm very glad that there were no civilians and that nobody else was killed. I find that quite strange, actually. I figured they would have done something else, but... In the Watertown shootout, there were ex explosive devices thrown. There, were, there are videos of that shootout on YouTube. Um, but yeah, they had explosives. They were throwing them at the police officers. I'm assuming they had something like an AK-47. Um, I don't know, Is more happens, I will be here to keep you updated, so stick around.